Hey guys, today I want to present you the new Atom X cast. The Atom X cast is the latest product by Atomos, and in this video, I want to show you the different features and functions, and of course, how you can operate the cast. The Atom X cast itself is basically a module with different HDMI in and outputs. There is a connector for the power supply and a USB-C port. However, if you take a Ninja 5 or 5 Plus, so a 5-inch recorder from Atomos, and connect it with the Ninja Cast, it turns into a really powerful switcher. You then have the graphic functions of a monitor. You can record, and now you're also able to stream. Most importantly, you get all these different functions in a really handy format. Mounting the Ninja 5 on the Cast module is super easy. You just connect the Ninja 5 with the NPF slot of the cast and fix it with the screw. And now you're ready to start. I just set up a typical streaming workflow with two cameras, my notebook and a media player as my input sources. At first, I need to go to the menu of the Ninja and select the Atom X cast as my source. Once I confirm this setting, I'm no longer working with the normal Ninja recorder, but with the switcher. And this configuration stays as long as I change the source to HDMI or SDI, and the switcher will turn back to the original recorder. The Ninja cast has four HDMI inputs to which you can connect four full HD input sources with up to 60 frames. The Ninja cast automatically recognizes the frame rate and if you're working with different frame rates, you can choose the one you would like to use and the other ones get synchronized accordingly. There are two outputs, one HDMI output to connect, for example, an additional monitor to show the program stream which is what I'm doing with Sumo, and one USB-C cast to connect the Ninja cast with your notebook, and that's what you need for live streaming. The notebook recognizes the Ninja cast as a webcam, and you can then use this signal to directly stream on basically any platform. On the display of the Ninja, you can see all input sources simultaneously with the multi-viewer, and if you're doing a live production with different cameras, you can then switch from one source to another. You can switch by either choosing the signal you want to show on the stream by choosing it on the touch display or by using the buttons of the cast. You also have the option to work in the preview mode. So you first pick the signal you want to show next in the program stream and then confirm by clicking on it again. As for the transition, you can either use a hard cut. Alternatively, you can choose between a dark or a light transition, and you can select a transition time of up to two seconds. Besides the multi-viewer, you can also view every input source in full screen. At the same time, you can of course access all the monitor functions of the Ninja. So you can, for example, choose between graphic functions like waveform, focus speaking or zebra, just to make sure that the video really looks the way you want it to. The audio signal can either be embedded in the HDMI input sources or by using the 3.5 millimeter audio input jack of the Ninja 5. In the menu, you can choose between three options of how the audio signal should be used. HDMI input means that the audio signal is tied to a certain input source. Mic line means that the audio signal of the audio input is used. And audio follow means that the audio signal follows the input source to which you switch. With the audio output of the Ninja 5, which is on the right side here, you can then check the audio signal. The Ninja Cast, of course, also offers further functions that are very interesting for live productions. With the picture-in-picture -picture function, you are able to place a second scaled video on the program stream. You can activate this function in the menu point picture-in-picture. -picture. 
then select the video signal you want to show and then you can adjust the position, the size and the opacity. In case you want to add logos or graphics during your stream, you can do this with the overlay function. Within the menu point overlays, you can save up to eight graphics on the internal memory of the cast. You then select the graphic you want to show and choose the position. You can activate the overlay by pressing the corresponding button and the overlay will stay as long as you deactivate it again by pressing the button again. Last but not least, you're of course able to record on the Ninja Cast just like with the Ninja 5. You just place an external SSD in the Ninja 5 and then you have the option to choose between the two codecs ProRes and Avid and record the program stream accordingly. To summarize the main advantages of the Ninja Cast, it's not only a really handy device, but above all, it's just extremely powerful. For those of you who already own a Ninja 5 or 5 Plus, the Atom X Cast is the perfect addition towards a live streaming system. For one thing, you of course save money, and secondly, you're already familiar with the user interface of the Ninja. For those of you who don't have a 5 inch recorder from Atomos yet and who want to buy the Ninja Cast as a kit, you will get a professional setup for live streaming besides the multiple functions of a monitor and a recorder. There will definitely be further firmware updates by Atomos in the future that will enable even more interesting features. I will of course keep you posted on any updates. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions just write them in the comments. Thank you for watching and bye bye.